Hello, what's going on? And welcome back to the RTG. And in this one, we've pretty much sent all of our remaining fodder towards a card that just looks that good. Double five-star footies, Antoine Griezmann. Why do you need Ben Yedda now when you've got this man? Well, potentially, he could be that good. But we've got to find out if he is and something else that's happened. So thumbs up if you enjoy and watch this. News alert. The 85 footies batch three is not worth it. Don't do it. It costs you like four squads. It's just not worth. And you don't even get a guaranteed rating of an 85 plus. Don't do that one. Do this. 87, you know the deal. 85 plus. All of this stuff's going to get submitted into the shapeshifter player pick. And we'll go from there. A team in the season, Mbappe, Neymar. I have been seeing Neymar pop up a little more often. That's a troll. Ramos! Yes, we've got a new player to try out. Sergio Ramos. Now we can use him as a center mid alongside Brella. Oof. 200,000. This man used to be 2 mil, let alone 200,000. Anyway, that's still a very, very good pull. I hope that he does play to these stats. I've only just Pat Ramos. He hasn't even been in the club for five minutes. And if I see a Ramos pop up now, I know that EA are tampering with the odds. No, it's the same selection of players that Dybala, Finesse, Griezmann has it, and we need to do him. But this is the 85 plus times 10. We're needing foot captain cards to meet the requirement for Griezmann and anything else. A lovely Brazilian. Dart, Schenneback, Virgil. Nice rating. 96, Virgil van Dijk. That's a nice rating. All right. He did get his pants pulled down, though, by Mitrovic twice. But we're trying to ignore that. We'll see past it. Well, that's embarrassing. I've got burgers and nothing else. So not only are you going to be seeing Griezmann in action, and of course, these are the scores that I've submitted towards him, but Sergio Ramos is a massive pull, and that's exactly it. Our coin total is non-existent. So if we're not packing some of the best players that were made available this past month, I'm never getting them, ever. So Sergio Ramos, as well as this Griezmann, looks beautiful. Let's go and see the team that we put together. Well, I need to buy a striker center forward anyway. What do you think of this build? Like, I'll go and sort out the position modifier and the chem style for Griezmann, Hawk, and obviously Cam. But what do you think of this? We're going to be testing Ramos to start off with as a center mid for a few games. See what he's about. And because we're going to be focusing on Griezmann anyway, he just naturally play. And we'll see if he likes that position. Uh, if he feels a bit weird or clunky, we put him center back. So it could mean that Ere Medato or Medateo is getting dropped this weekend. But it does look beautiful. It's a nice side, that is. Oh, he has to play left mid. Hybrid. So many footies. We should be able to bypass that defense, though, with Griezmann. Griezmann, you're going to get your chance. He's going to launch it, Valverde. Ramos is feeling nice with his left stick. Ah, just push your way through with your strength. Oh, that's a goal. It's a goal, but we don't really... Offside. Like, that's... Like, Jesus. That's not... That is not clunky. That is some mad fast left stick control. Griezmann more like ass, man. He feels really good, to be honest. Wouldn't say he's ass. But it's just the goal. It was coming, man. We've had three, four half chances. D not. D not job. Where is he? Oh yeah, yeah, he does have him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. he's got ribbery. Oh. Oh, he's done me well. Nice goal. He should have scored, though, with Ribery anyway. He did me well. I was looking for that cutback. What I will do, though, is I'll take uh, Rafini off, and I'll bring on uh, an actual, like, proper winger in at the halftime. See if that helps us out down the line. More speed, like, just raw pace. That's a nice pass. Griezmann. There it is. That was good. Oh, Griezmann, man. Oh, please don't say his shot's dodgy because I will say this. His dribbling, his left stick control, his responsiveness is like 10 out of 10. Hey, Newcastle fan. Gianola. Chiellini. Wonderful. 
We didn't even have a chance to take off Rafinha. And then overlap me. Yes, go Greasy. Finesse. Don't even time it. Well done. Good finish. Don't even time it. Not when we've got that kickoff boost. Mine? Nah, he's doing it again. It was Chiellini in the last game as well, to be fair. Those tackles just seem like they glide, like they're sliding into them. That's a good pass. Griezmann. That's more like it. That's what I remembered with like flashback Griezmann. Just so tight inside the box. Swipes his foot at it and it's in the back of the net. Ramos. Neymar. Ramos and Neymar. I mean, I am liking my Ramos as well. He moves like very well on the ball for someone with his height. Like he moves a lot better than that Hullet with his left stick control. Really smooth. Got him. See, we've settled down now. We've had one game or two games. A little bit of dodgy finishing here or there. Now we're cooking. But no, I did say, I feel like Griezmann in the end will have a better shot than Ribery. But overall. He's very fun. Very, very fun to use. Nice position as well. Easy goal. Five-star weak foot. I don't know what Van is doing, but that's just an easy goal. Footies. Yeah, he's treated you well. We're against Ribery again. Nah, no, Griezmann. Well, that was more user error. But I wouldn't mind seeing a few... Oh, damn. I wouldn't mind seeing a few more, like, 50-50s that he can win. <laughs> Shinola really is missing that. Hero captain version. There's no way. Like, what's the point of using him, then? What the hell was that leap? Oh... Trying some weird, weird stuff. Can I get past Laurent Blanc? Yes, I can. Good strength. No, I should have turned back earlier. Switch. Yeah, Finola. Finish. It's coming. It's coming. Nah, try to green it. Pre. Pre what? Pre footies? Well, you got Brella in there. I wouldn't play Di Natale, Cam. So it's between Ribery and Neymar. And I haven't really had too much game time with team of the season, Neymar. But when I've come up against him, he scores some of the most ridiculous volleys. Rubbish defending. Vanessa, throw left, left, left. Quick, quick. Counter-attack. Into the midfield and then over the top. Griezmann first time. Oh, my. Yo, that is a pass. Nah, what happened? That is a part first time pass. OP. Griezmann. That take. Fast. Yes. Good finish. I have no need now to push him back to centre back. He can play in that role. Well done. That's fine. Play on. Yes. Near post. Move. Ramos is... What the hell is wrong with my players half the time? Ramos literally came over to jockey in front of me. What's wrong with you? Good. Cross, 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 cross. Header, header. He's not bad in the air, Griezmann. Sweet. I like that, though, with him. You get him inside the box. A little bit of... Like drag backs, dribbling. He's so technical in that area. So in the first couple of games with this Griezmann, I must admit, I was really trying to force that finesse like outside the box, inside. Because that's one of the reasons why I loved his flashback version so much. He was super consistent. And I didn't really see that from him until towards the end. Like I have played how many games? Nine matches. Well, technically, probably about like seven because people are quitting at like 1-1, 0-0. But 15 goals he ended up with. And that's exactly it. 
really good finisher. In the end, I've noticed like doing those technical dribbles inside the box and just laser shots with his left or right. His passing game is superb as well. He's so fast on the ball, really is quick. The acceleration to get uh, through and on the last man. If you're wondering, does he really feel as quick as some of these other cards? He's rapid. He really is very, very good. The only criticism that I have is maybe seeing a little bit more on that finesse consistently, but it could be user error as well as the game just screwing up with the RNG. And the physical play may be also a little bit stronger every now and then. Just fight for the ball, that those loose balls that maybe you don't really deserve to get, but other players do tend to just, you know, rip it back off your opponent. If he could show a bit more strength in certain situations, then that would be one of the perfect cards. And the double five star is super clutch. So is he worth it? Yes. Without a shadow of a doubt, he is worth it. Really, really nice to use. So I'm putting him striker this weekend alongside R9 and Sergio Ramos. Now, I was thinking in the back of my mind, like, he's going to be pushed as a center back. Mm, don't know. Not sure. Because as a center mid, he feels really good. So fast and massive in game. Like, he's only six foot, right? But he looks like about six foot four and super, super wide and stocky. But Ramos really did hold it down. Comfortable on the ball. Nice passing and just a train. Just, just charging about all over the place. So Griezmann, Ramos, lovely upgrades to our team. And then whatever comes out in the next couple of days. Well, we'll spend Dembele 99. I don't know, man. We're running low on fodder. So we need that 85 repeatable. But Griezmann, massive thumbs up. And Sergio Ramos can probably play center back as well. But send him in. I think that's what I'm going to use him uh, alongside Barella in my 4-4-2. But thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon. Team out. Peace.